Dimitri. So Dimitri at Say Teleport. How, how did you kind of get into the industry to start with and how has it transformed since then? Yeah, well, uh, I was building startups for, for the past 15 years and I've spent about uh, 13 years in the marine industry. So I know how things were working from inside. And one of the pain points was actually travel because it, it was a very labor intensive uh, process and um, it, it was lacking transparency. So we thought that there is clearly a problem that we can solve. And another thing that we knew about the market is that the marine market is traditionally fairly skeptical and it's a, a kind of, uh, it's not nece necessarily prone to innovations, but it, it, every innovation is, is challenged by many experts and before we get a substantial momentum, uh, a high growth rate is, is kind of uh, tricky. So the way how we address this problem, we approached a few early adopters who we knew are you know tech savvy and they are looking into more digital solutions rather than you know uh, increasing the headcount to to cope with the, their growth rate. And we said, well, let's try uh, to build something together. And that that was the initial step. The, the kind of we, we put our foot in this door. So the. Uh, the year after, we started building the kind of the muscle mass. We started getting more customers who are uh, who were now less skeptical because we already have some uh, first early adopters. And this year, this is the second year uh, when we show our product to the mass market. We clearly get this feeling that feels like we broke this ice, and uh, uh, bigger customers and those who are. Um, looking at improving their efficiency through software solutions, they're much more eager to evaluate this opportunity and to, uh, you know, go further into their digital solutions. And um, how has the travel industry, um, how it's going, how is it going to evolve? Yeah, well, from our point of view, that, like I said, the travel agency used to be a very labor intensive and it still remains. And you know, the, actually the explanation is such that uh, the, the way how travel agency operate now uh, has two explanations. So first of all, that's how the technology side of the airlines are structured. It's actually not a very advanced, uh, the airline industry is not a very advanced uh, from the technology side. Which is actually pretty interesting uh, when I looked at it. And the second is that uh, marine market on its own has their own requirements, very specific requirements, in particular related to uh, changing and cancelling travel all the time, uncertainty of travel plans, and being able to optimize costs. Because of course when you change and cancel and when someone has to touch, uh, you know, a human person has to touch your travel plans, somehow you have to uh, charge for this operation. So we see the, you know, the development or evolution of the travel uh, agency business going from uh, the uh, human labor uh, driven uh, industry more to software provider or technology driven business where uh, you know, your travel plans will be determined by big data when uh, seafarers are not, um, uh, you know, guessing about what will be their travel plans, but we will be using, uh, you know, for example, travel plans on the crew changes to identify the best routings, the best dates, the best ports. And all of that can be done using, uh, you know, big data analysis because we have really a lot of uh, data points. It's just a matter of how we uh, analyze them and how we implement that. So we are clearly moving in the direction where uh, the travel will become much more efficient in terms of time spent on travel. So we see that our customers are reporting up to 90% of savings in time when they are managing travel. It will clearly become much more transparent because uh, first of all, it's much easier to track when everything is digital. You know, all sorts of reporting, all sorts of drill down analysis becomes very easy and all the data is on the tips of your fingers. And thirdly, it will become much more cost efficient because of course, when we uh, give a task of cost optimization to a program, of course the program is, you know, it's not asking for a salary increase or anything, it just does its job and it tries to uh, reduce our costs. So I think these are uh, three major implications of, uh, you know, transforming the travel industry to a digital uh, form. 
What do you think is the single bis biggest challenge within the industry right now? Yeah, well, um, the marine industry uh, traditionally is very skeptical about pretty much everything. And even though we have a lot of interesting and really exciting innovations in the marine industry, it always takes uh, quite a few years for uh, the industry to actually accept and you know engage with this technology or innovation and fully adopt it. And we, we see many examples like uh, autonomous ships and uh, VR technology. We see the rise of this technology, but this technology is around for quite a few years. So the same challenges we, we see also in the travel industry. So of course, we have introduced something what we call a next generation travel management in the marine industry. So our primary tasks for, for uh, the uh, coming few years is to basically be much more persuasive and to help the industry to understand what are the uh, what are the actual benefits that you know the time saving that the shipping uh, companies are getting the cost savings that they're really tangible that they actually result in a positive cash flow or positive uh, profit and loss reports and when they see the actual results in their books, that's what will make the industry transform more to the uh, digital uh, shape. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you.